next in the big news is uh, an injury to Mac Wilson it happened during seven on sevens uh, after the Browns' first team period. Mac Wilson went down, was helped off the field. Uh, he's being evaluated with a knee injury. As of this recording, we don't know the extent of the injury. It certainly did not look good uh, based on his reactions from where we were sitting. And of course, he was carted off into the field house. Yeah, it was just such a bizarre 24 hour period for Mac Wilson. It started yesterday when he horse collared Nick Chubb uh, and Nick ended up hitting his head on the ground, he got a concussion. We found out today he is in the concussion protocol. Then we go out to practice and we see that Mac Wilson has been demoted to second team linebacker behind Ty Davis. And before you know it, midway through practice, as you mentioned, after the team drills, there, there he is in seven on sevens, breaks up a pass, crumples to the ground. It was just weird. All of a sudden he's just there on the ground and it just looked like a non-contact thing. Then they called for the cart. They bring the cart out and uh, the, the whole ride into the field house, he basically had his head down and his, his hands on his head. And uh, you know, he just looked really down. Here's a question. What's the bigger, what's the bigger loss right now? Nick Chubb or, or Mac Wilson? You know, Nick Chubb, you know you got Kareem Hunt uh, also in the backfield. The linebacking unit is thin. There's not a lot of experience there. Um, to lose Mac Wilson, I, I don't know. I, that's a tough call. Which, which one would you say is a bigger loss? Well, I, I, think, I think yesterday when we made that list um, uh, of players the Browns can't lose, I don't think any of us said Mac Wilson. But now that it's a, a real possibility, you kind of look at this group. Uh, Mac was playing one of the outside spots. He's been there most of camp. It's usually been B.J. Goodson starting in the middle there. Uh, you know, I, I, I still don't have a feel for how they're going to deploy their linebackers, to be honest. I think that's a big part of it. I, I think Mac Wilson is probably replaceable. Uh, you know, I, the, the argument for Chubb is they had Kareem Hunt behind him, and that's obviously a really unique situation to have you know, a former rushing champ behind a guy who might win the rushing title this season. Uh, so, so that's a little bit of a weird scenario. Yeah, we, we don't know even who the, the three starters will end up to be. I mean, right now it's been uh, Mac Wilson at weak side. It's been Sione Takitaki on the strong side. And it's been B.J. Goodson in the middle when they're in, in three linebackers. They're not deep. I was just looking this up. I was looking up to see if, uh, and I should know this, and I'm sorry, but I'm out of the loop. <laughs> if uh, Clay Matthews is, has signed with anybody yet. Um, but that was one, uh, no, not that Clay Matthews. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a guy that I thought they should have signed this off season, not only just because of what he brings to the table on the field, but because of the leadership that I think that they need in that room. And I think what's been going on with Mac Wilson over the past even few days is uh, is a testament to that. Well, Jacob Phelps might be up soon. That might be the uh, the next man up. Um, you know, Tay Davis is a guy that you know was 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 around last year, but really he's mostly a special teamer. I, I don't know if that's the I, ideal replacement for the Browns. 